Almost that happens sometimes. Should be back after that commercial. Let me know. Right. You're watching it, uh, Ronnie? Yeah, we'll Bomb be watching the game again. Yeah, I have Ronnie. That's why Ronnie's in here. That's cool. He's my assistant. Good thinking. <laughs> Back up. All right, welcome back, folks. Not really sure what's happening. Uh, it's happened in the past where the live stream just cuts out. Don't know uh, what the issue is. I believe it's on that um, on Twitch side. Not really sure why, but we are back and right there. Frico taking takedown, able to get one back here on this Frico Frash team. Uh, now up three to one in this SND matchup. And also, I'm pretty sure you guys just missed it, but it was a, another big push by that takedown team to close down the Frash team, who just seemed to be caught off guard by uh, by how quickly the Frico takedown team was able to respond. And right here, we're going to see Xanity just going to be checking that middle, it ends up stunning himself. And he's going to cook another one just to see if anybody's right there. He is right to do so. Does get a hit marker, but Azetic going to shut him down. Uh, let's get on board here with Azetic, who does have that bomb, making that push to the middle. And right now, looking to be making his way to A. Senseless going to pick up Travail, however. And right there, Senseless with a two-piece. Let's get on board with him. Senseless going to get mowed down by Murtag, but it is up to Murtag in a 2v1. 1v1 now. Will he be able to do it? Murtag putting his team on his back, backpacking it. 7-1. and one. Again, a monster. We have seen him go 16-2 and two in the past against Frico Phoenix. Uh, so he is definitely the player to be watching once again. Murtag, such a big player here. Uh, very smart, very slow, but now he's in a 1v1. He needs to pick up that bomb. We're going to take a quick look here. Look at that. Look at the proximity of these players. It can be anybody's game if anyone makes a right push. And right there, Murtag going to get picked up by Zesty. Unable to complete his free v1 clutch. And uh, there we're going to see... Zesty going to make it a free to two round count here in game number three SND on raid and look at that Murtai just going to go down unable to get his streaks and just going to help Zesty just going to help this Frash team able to lower that distance uh, they it's still very possible for them to make a good comeback look at that bumping happening but they are going to be making another push on this A side. We're going to get on board here with Senseless, who does have that bomb. Travail going to pick up Xanity in the middle right there. Senseless going to put some shots. Going to start seeing some results. But Zessi going to get picked up by Travail. Travail just doing a lot of work with that sniper rifle. Currently 6-2. and two. Also, not to be scuffed up. Not something to ignore. Uh, he has been rocking that sniper a lot. Glow going to pick up Murtag, making it a more manageable 2v3 situation. I believe it was Senseless who does have the bomb. Senseless who was on that A side right there. Chavail, very smart, just waiting for Senseless. Picks up that kill and gets the two piece on Frico Glow. Glow just unable to answer back. Travail had his gun up just too soon for Glow, who got caught sprinting. Right there, I believe that that quick draw did come into effect. So right now, for Rico takedown going up four to two in round count. Map number three here. SND raid it is up to Frico Frack to do something if they lose this one it will be so much more difficult a lot of pressure will be put on their shoulders and I just don't think that they'll be able to really manage it let's get back on board here with Travail who's going to see it through that line of sight once again that lets you see into that window but look at that free down already for this Frico Frash team it is all up to Senseless picking up that quick scope picking up the double on Travail with his use of that MSMC overkill and he knows where that bomb is so that is going to be favoring him in this 2v1 situation will he be able to ace this or will he just keep it slow like they're going to miss a lot of shots very sloppy He's trying to stay alive does end up putting shots but Slickby going to pick up the kill on Senseless Senseless just unable to get his shots together if he was able to manage that do you think he would have been able to pull it off Brainiac? Yeah, well, what he did was wrong. He shouldn't push uh, uh, in the middle because uh, the other player would uh, surely get him in the side. He lost uh, this 1v1 already, but uh, he should be in, uh, staying in, uh, somewhat more to the back to the garage uh, and uh, not uh, push up uh, all the way to the middle. It was too risky. All right there, Brainiac giving his insight again. Brainiac, a very strong SND player. So now this Frico Frash team find themselves in a 5v2 situ 5 to 2 round count situation. 
uh, on the offensive side. So they will need to do something here if they want to stay alive and close this gap. They do not want to find themselves uh, in this position, of course. But look at that. Two down already for that Thrash team. It is now 3v2. We're going to get on board here with Zesty. Senseless making it 2v2. We're going to take a quick look here. And uh, looking at that at that uh, map right there we're going to see zesty put some shots before running away very smart play in my opinion just trying to stay alive slick be going to pick up senseless however senseless should have been expecting slick be to show up and been able to pick it up but right here it could be all over for fresh finding themselves in a free to nothing map count against his takedown team right there zesty however going to pick up murtag but slick be going to close it out here making it six to two in round count for eco takedown now up Three to nothing in map count. It's been very tense and uh, very close so far. And really, some players needing to step it up. We thought that for Rico, I personally thought that Census would have been able to do something right there uh, in that 1v4 where he was able to make it a 1v2, knowing where the bomb was. Everything was on his side, unfortunately for him. Uh, he was unable to win that big one-on-one -on -one gunfight. Uh, if he was able to win that, that would have been a whole different story. That would have put so much momentum into the into the sales of this Rico Frash team. And here we go. We are now down.